AT&T trying to catch a break in its bid to buy Time Warner. A Senate Judiciary hearing on Capitol Hill just wrapped up, but it was more like a beatdown by some Republicans who are usually merger friendly as the CEOs of both companies made their case for the merger, saying the $85 billion deal would benefit consumers and boost competition rather than quash it. Uh, even as President-elect Trump has said he doesn't like the deal, you got AT&T jumping two and a third percent. Uh, Time Warner was higher earlier. It's basically flat at the moment, but uh, Republicans were not friendly here on the Hill to this. Now, President-elect Trump has not commented today about the merger of these two media and telecom giants, but Charlie Gasparino has his ear to the ground and finds there could be another CEO joining the ranks uh, of the opposition. And we should just unpack the, the stock price. AT&T is up. That's the acquiring company, yes. correct? That means that some, that marginally, some traders are saying it's a less chance of this deal going through following the... the Time Warner the, was up earlier. Yeah, Time Warner's down a little bit. As, as people are saying, you know, less chance they're going to be taken over. Marginally less. But here's what we do know. Uh, that was a contentious hearing. Lots of Democrats and Republicans ganging up, you know, raising val what they believe is valid concerns about monopoly, AT&T controlling 20% of all the sort of cable traffic in the country. Uh, we got one more uh, sort of opposition to this, and this guy could be pretty t a pretty tough hombre. Uh, conservative media, <laughs> I, I, I know Bad that. ombre or tough ombre? Both, because I know him pretty well. Uh, conservative media outfit Newsmax plans to oppose this. Newsmax's CEO Chris Ruddy, the bad ombre I was talking about, uh, is, is planning to use all the leverage he has, both from his, his network, his uh, website, and possibly lobbying Why? Effort. What does he like about it? Uh, he says that this deal will stifle competition and promote liberal CNN. Uh, we should point out this is where he gets a lot of his leverage. Now, you pointed out before Donald Trump during the campaign said he would kill the deal. Ruddy has close ties with Trump. He was at Mar-a-Lago during Thanksgiving. He was asked by Donald Trump who he should pick for, for Secretary of State. This guy has Trump's ear, so he is going to use that ear to try to kill this deal because he thinks, listen, this is not the free market. I mean, I asked Chris this. I said, listen, you're a conservative. Uh, aren't you for free markets and mergers? He goes, well, this is not a free market. This is the government picking, you know, ca these, these cable companies are highly regulated. Government picks winners and losers. And guess what? You're going to give, by allowing this deal to go through AT&T controls, you know, this huge portion of the cable pipes, you're going to give them leverage over people like me. And he's trying to negotiate a deal with, with CNN. And well, he's what about Comcast piping out MSNBC? It's the same and thing. that was approved. It's the same thing. That it's was same approved. Thing. Different. Listen, that was approved by... Uh, by a liberal Democratic administration, which kind of likes Comcast's content, which includes CNN and MSNBC. This is different. This is a conservative administration where this, the guy at the top, Donald Trump, has specifically critiqued CNN. And what Ruddy's going to say is this. Listen, they're squeezing us already. AT&T is not Time Warner. AT&T controls the pipes. Time Warner's the content. They're, gonna, they're squeezing us already. They're going to give CNN, the liberal media bastion, uh, a leg up on us. You should kill this deal. You should not allow them to do that because they can, they can, they can, they control way too much of the bandwidth out there. Uh, so that's his plan. I'm not saying it's going to work. I am telling you, he's assembling uh, a team to, to oppose it. He's going to talk to Trump about it. He does have Trump's ear. And I will say one other thing. He's a tough hombre. He will fight this to the very end. And Newsmax is nothing to be. Listen, I cover the media. I've been in the mainstream media for many years. I've, I've seen niche media. Newsmax is a pretty important player. I'm just telling you, he's going to go after him tooth and nail. And he does have good contacts with Congress, too. So okay. the battle's on. Let's go. I can't wait to cover the rest of it. Charlie, thank you. Charlie Gasparino.